How's it going, everyone? You're watching one of my Wi-Fi battle videos. This is China Connor. I have to make this a quick upload here because I have to study for finals. That is a top priority, but I have a quick break. So, let's get to this battle right here versus Joel Kesey. If you enjoy this video, be sure to give a like and subscribe as well. With that said, here we go. I begin with my Scarfed Samurai, and my opponent begins with Arcanine. Now, the way he's playing Arcanine, I was expecting it to be Scarfed like I was, but he ends up switching out and going to a Zoomerall instead of attacking me with a Wild Charge or something. Um, he does take that Surf okay, which is kind of unfortunate. He might have some HP investment in there, but that's all right. Expecting a play rough, we're going to switch into my Metagross, who is a Mega Metagross in this battle, um, which I don't know if it's banned from competitive play. We'll have to find out eventually, right? Now right there, clear body is not going to affect the Intigamate coming from Arcanite. So that means I'm not going to lose my attack and then we're going to just Mega Evolve right in its face. I expected Arcanine to come in, which is why I go for the Hammer Arm right there. And that is a lot of damage for that being not Stab or anything. So maybe he's not, he's probably banded, I must say that. A band dead arc line. That's pretty popular. But expecting that to be the case, they're going to hit on top lower his attack this time. And it's like, yeah, hit on top can take that hit really well after that. And he takes a ton of recoil. And here I have an idea. We can go for fake out and mark punch. But I did expect the extreme speed as well, so um, I know that my hit on top of the right investment, I can take that hit. So we're going to continue going for that mock punch. I go take out Arcanine, which is like, ugh. I'm really sorry, hit on top, but you know what? I should have given you more attack EVs. That's the thing. I, I have a weird EV spread on hit on top. So um, we get a double gown on that play there, which are the best sets of gowns, but there was no need for one. Ugh, that's just unfortunate there. But on the double gown, I go back into my Scarf Samurai. But my opponent predicted that most likely because he goes back into a zoom roll. I was uh, fearing that a grass knot would not take out a zoom roll, which is why I go back into my Metagross like that. And that works out great. Now, I was really expecting this to take out a zoom roll. I don't know why, but he lives. Um, and then on top of that, I go for another mirror mash, which I had, I had bullet punch, but I misclicked, guys. That is just not a good thing there. But you know what? I probably would have had a lot more HP, which I would probably take a hit from a Zangu's fire punch. So had I went for another bullet punch on the Azumarill, I would probably take a hit from Zangu's most likely. You never know. But I lose Metagross, which is unfortunate. I'm sorry, Metagross. I'm just not playing well right now. But you know what? I have my Trooper. Trooper is a weird, um, well, I wouldn't say it's weird. It's a defensive slash offensive Venusaur. And I like it for some reason. Anyways, Gengar comes in. I expected that, so I go for the Leech Seed. I, I hit the Gengar, which is nice. Um, but I was expecting him to probably go for a Surge Bomb or something like that. So I go into Kimboya. Kimboya is my Assault Vest Rhyperior, which you guys should probably try out Assault Vest Rhyperior. It's a lot of fun. A lot of people don't realize that it's that good of a Pokemon with that right item. But yeah, um, unfortunately for me, he has the Poison Hats coming in from that Sludge Bomb move, which uh, that offsets the Leech Seed recovery. Now, I know he's going to switch out because of the Leech Seed. He wants to get rid of it. So I go for the Stone Edge because it does hit everything else neutrally. 
um, and I can't go for an earthquake because of Gengar's levitate ability. He brings an Espeon. Here's where he finds out that I have the Assault Vest on, because Psychic does not cut it. <laughs> just saying. Um, but yeah, another one is going to take me out. But I just go for an Earthquake there, because... I mean, I know that Gengar is not going to come in. So why not go for an Earthquake and put a lot more damage on Espeon, so that way I can bring in Mustang and go for Flare Blitz. Now, you, you guys probably know that he has an Anthros in the team preview. Which is why I go for Flare Blitz. Um, if you wanted to keep his Espeon alive, then I have to go for a move that would hit the Anthros. Um, because Brave Bird isn't going to do enough. So he does switch into Anthros, and I was like, okay, I can probably kick this thing out, right? And I'm hoping that he has a different ability than Static, and it's like, ah, that sucks, because while I have Gale Wings, there's a chance I could get paralyzed. And on top of that, he has Confuse Ray, and ah, this could be a tough situation. I could switch out or I could stay in. Um, I chose to just play it good and switch out and go into something different because I know that he's going to go for a Thunderbolt. He does and Trooper, you're doing awesome. He takes that really well because of your resistance and we're just going to go for the Leech Seed yet again because Everos has a lot of HP. I know he's going to probably confuse me again, but I am not going to be bothered by that. What I really want is to have the Leech Seed up and then get my health back and then we can switch into something that could probably take a Focus Blast or something that could probably hit Venusaur for some damage. Um, so I go into Samra expecting that to be the case, but he goes for Thunder Wave. I'm just like... Wait, what? Because you already have static and then it's like you're going for Thunder Wave. Why are you doing this? I mean, I think the only reason that you would have that move is if you have a special attacker on the field. For example, Sam Art here. It's not physical contact, so I can probably see why he went for Thunder Wave like that. But you know what? Here I over or no, he over predicts and I expected that. So I go for a Surf and I take out Anthros. That worked out pretty well. And I I did expect the Gengar to go for a Shadow Ball or a Thunderbolt and just kill me out right, but nope. I somehow live it. It's probably min max damage while stacking in there. But that's great because I get a lot of HP down on the Gengar, which means if I don't get paralyzed, then I can finish off Gengar with a Brave Bird. And that's going to be the end of the battle video. Alright, so if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give me a like. I hope that my narration is good enough for you all. If there's anything that you could advise me on on the narrations I make or uh, the, the type of content I'm making here, make sure you leave me suggestions on what I can improve on because I'm here to improve. I know that I have speaking issues I'm practicing, practicing, practicing. Um, my narrations are doing all right, I guess. But um, if there's anything that I could be working on that would be suitable for you guys, let me know in the comments. Um, I am participating in the Battle of Hoenn competition next week, so I will be uploading some content on that next week. I have finals uh, next week too, which is kind of a drag. But you know what? It's got to be done, so wish me luck on those, and I will be uploading some Battle of Helen competition battles last week as well. In the meantime, I hope you all have a great week, and I will see you guys next week. Alright, bye.